And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a paper cutout effect. At least that's what I called it. It's sometimes hard to find a good name for these effects. We're going to create a cutout of this woman dancing. To do that, we'll just copy the original footage, Ctrl C, Ctrl V for that. And for the copy above, we'll go to video and then cutout. Use the auto cutout right here. I've already done that, but if you're doing that for the first time for a clip, it's going to get processed and may take a little bit of time. But this is the result. So we've got the original below and the cutout above. Copy the cutout, Ctrl C, Ctrl V yet again. So we have two cutouts. Select the one in the middle. You can now see we've got it right here. You can under cutout use default stroke effects, but we can't reposition them. You can see that here it keeps the original woman. So we can't really create an offset or add an offset to the stroke effect. So let me go to none. I go to basic, then I move it a little bit to the right. This is the position that we want. And yet again, just as a reminder, this is the middle clip, the one in the timeline on the second video channel. And now under adjustments, I have to desaturate it and then crank up these values, brightness, highlight, shadow and white. Keep everything else as it is. Blacks, for example, would screw with the background. Then right click, create compound clip. And now you can do the same under adjustments. So once again, saturation down, brightness up, highlight up, shadow up, whites up. And this is what we actually want. I play it, you can see it, it follows the movement. It's a little bit offset. And we can also give it different colors by using the temperature and hue sliders right here. So it is still possible. You will have a little bit of a white edge here and there. That's just part of the process. But this adds kind of to the illusion that it's a paper cutout. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.